after smug judges block Trump again, AG Jeff Sessions unleashes their worst nightmare. The left has clearly banded together to resist President Donald Trump at every turn, and no one has made that clearer than the federal judges who have been hellbent on blocking his policies. Unfortunately for the smug liberal judges who tried their luck again, things just went horribly wrong for them as Attorney General Jeff Sessions just unleashed their worst nightmare, and it looks like the tides are officially turning. There's no arguing that this nation has waded into extremely petty waters. Despite the fact that Trump is trying to put American lives and interest first, the left seems intent on attacking his policies, regardless as to what that will mean for the American people, simply because it's his idea. Proving just that is what the leftist federal judges out of liberal utopias like California have most recently done to President Trump's travel ban. As most Americans are aware, Trump put a temporary restriction on travel to the U.S. from certain countries known to have strong ties to radical Islamic terror. Not wanting terrorists to come into the country, Trump made it perfectly clear that a temporary ban would be placed on travel from those countries while we figured out how to better vet those coming in. Despite the fact that this could potentially save American lives, liberals decided to shoot it down because, well, Trump. Too bad for the idiots thinking they had the power to derail the President of the United States, they just got shot down by Attorney General Jeff Sessions himself. In fact, Sessions decided to make his thoughts on the matter perfectly clear by unleashing the defiant judge's worst nightmare. According to Fox News, Sessions was most recently speaking before a crowd at the Heritage Foundation in Washington, D.C., where he brought up the matter at hand. Exposing these saboteurs guilty of violating the Constitution, Sessions ripped the judges a new one. The Constitution gives judges no right to veto a president's actions because they disagree with him on policy grounds, he said at the time. Unfortunately for any judge abusing their power simply to get revenge on Trump, it wasn't just the travel ban that ticked him off. In fact, he later shifted his attention to those who shot down DACA elimination efforts as well. Today, more and more judges are issuing these lawless nationwide injunctions and in effect, single judges are making themselves super legislators for the entire United States," he went on to add. We have nearly 600 federal district judges in the United States, each with the ability to issue one of these overreaching nationwide orders. However, he top off his scathing rebuttal with an ominous warning. And this is the thing that nightmares are made of if you're liberal judge intent on abusing your power, that is. Those who ignore this duty and follow their own policy views erode the rule of law and create bad precedents and, importantly, undermine the public respect necessary for the courts to function properly, Sessions concluded, suggesting that the American people would put an end to those who continue to act in such a way. There's no arguing that what the left is doing in America today is out of hand and completely ridiculous. These judges are acting far beyond their reach since a single man shouldn't have the power to shut down the President of the United States. Think about the reaction if someone were to have done this to former President Barack Obama on his unpopular ideas like Obamacare or the Iran deal. How would the left have reacted then? They probably would have tried to have the judge removed. Our system works because it's the cumulative effort and will of we the people. The problem comes when one person thinks they can dictate what's best for everyone. In fact, there's a word for that, and it's called tyranny. Back in the day, we would have hung someone for that. Fortunately for these judges, no one is calling for that now, but they better back off because if anyone knows anything on this earth, it's that you don't want to piss off America. Bad things are on the horizon for those who seek to abuse their power in the interest of their own political beliefs. You will be shut down, and you'll be lucky if you walk away with only having received your pink slip when the dust has settled. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Matt World News. World News.